All right. The sunshine fee writes, question. If a man says he doesn't want to get married anymore and it's your wish to get married in the future, should one cut off the relationship? If a man says he doesn't want to get married. Okay, so this is a great question and this is really important for those of us in midlife. Okay, so let me just say why that is. So um, the thing is most folks in midlife which I say midlife is after baby making years and before retirement. Roughly 75% of singles who are actively looking for love in this age demographic are divorced. And a lot of people right after divorce are very reluctant to ever wanna get married again. I'm going to repeat that. People that have just come off a of divorce are very reluctant to get married again. I know after my divorce, it was a good five, six, seven. I said, I never want to get married again. I never want to get married again. I never want to get married again. And now it's funny because now I so want to get married, but it's been 15 years since the ending of my relationship. So one is oftentimes people that don't want to get married, it's because they had a really bad experience in their marriage. Now, that doesn't mean that they may not change their mind at some point, but I think ultimately what you might want to find out is why they don't want it to get remarried. Why don't they want to get remarried? Because if someone is really reeling from pain in their past marriage, it's understandable. I was reeling with a lot of pain from my marriage, the divorce in and of itself, because I want you to think about it. Divorce is an unraveling of the tapestry of an old life. And then you have to learn to create a new tapestry on your own. And a lot of people just go right back together with someone else. We human beings are rather codependent. In fact, if you're not familiar with the book Codependent No More, people oftentimes gravitate to new relationships very quickly without healing from their past relationships. That doesn't mean that they want to get married. I'll show the book one more time, Codependent No More. Doesn't mean that they may, they may just because someone wants to get into a relationship right away, doesn't mean they want to get married. So going back to the original question, first off, you want to get a sense of how far have they healed from their past relationship and what's causing them to be reluctant. I know my friend says, uh, one of my dear friends says, what's the point of getting married if I'm not going to share assets with someone? And that's a really good point. You know, ultimately marriage is about, is going to be about a commingling of assets. This is why I said to you earlier, I'm looking for myself, I'm looking to either get remarried or live with someone at some point, because I don't want to have a relationship where we're living in two separate houses. Now, some people can do that. Some people can live in separate homes and carry on for years in a relationship. Now, as I just said that, some of you might be thinking long distance. Let me just be clear about something. It's fun to do long distance when you're young and you have the energy, but I just want you to think 10, 15 years in the future. Do you want to be constantly getting on a plane to see each other? At some point, if you're not either moving towards getting either in the same home or at least very, live close to one another, relationships are very problematic because how can you be there for a person during the tough times? For example, later today, I'm a, a dear friend of mine, she needs a, a ride home from the hospital and her boyfriend can't make it. Now, I happen to be a dear friend, okay? And she's blessed to have that, but her boyfriend does it nine out of 10 times and I just happen to be there. That's what proximity can do for you, which is very difficult to do when you have distance involved, but that's a whole nother conversation. I'm going off on a tangent. Anyway, go back to your original question. <laughs> uh, what was the question uh, centered around marriage? Listen, you've got to decide for yourself. Just because someone says they don't want to get married, I at least ask a few more questions to determine if you're on the same page or not. And if you are, you may want to explore it. And if you're not, you may want to move on. Great question, Sunshine. Thank you so much.